Plenty of, plenty of master classes going on this weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah, but not, not here. With low, yeah, yeah, hit with here. here. Yeah, here, here, yeah. You want to? King is a very typical hand that slows down on the turn because even on the jack. And it also doesn't want to overbet. Ace Queen is a much more appealing overbet because on the jack you can just jam, you're blocking a straight board, it's not a king. So, and especially since we're going to assume people folding King, Queen, King, Jack on the turn, it's much, the, your opponent's range to be defined is much easier. Yes, sometimes you might be wrong, but he wakes up the King Queen. So we're working with statistical likelihoods. What is also a little bit what we do based on our experience, right? So we know, okay, we have his queen, we have all of it to flop, and on any, any jack, any queen, on a king, we just keep jamming. Uh, maybe on any eight, we, we bet small. Um, but, and then on an ace, we also keep betting small because now the board becomes less, like, if he has king, ten, queen, ten, jack, ten, we have him crushed now, right? There's no need to bet so big. We actually want him to keep calling a 10 or 9. So then we just bet one third, like we really size down. And also allows us to keep value betting a king or a queen because we know he's not gonna have a lot of ace eggs after we overbet the flop. So this is very important then to understand that you can narrow his range really exactly down to a few hands and can see this ace pretty much as a blank. As we've seen, you remain very aggressive yeah, on these. Yeah, right. yeah. So we need a table equity of 0 0.9, round about, to overwhelm folding. 0 0.9 is here, 9 plus. Not even ace king is on time. So we are playing 9 plus. So we're in day 3 of uh, the intensive boot camp. Uh, what's your thoughts so far? All the thoughts are that the topics that were chosen are very interesting, you know, there is no... We chose the we chose the topics, I mean Ben chose the topics that would give us the most edge against the field, you know, like the understudied spots or spots where people and we would have the most problems. So like basically every single module that we made was very interesting and I, you know, I've learned a bunch. I mean, we're, we've been going into a lot of depth with the, uh, with the study, especially the three bet part and uh, which we just covered and that's been really informative and we're learning a lot of new information that's going to be really valuable in our games. It's uh, a lot more intense than any of us anticipated which is fantastic. I mean we did travel halfway across the world to to get challenged, to get our brains challenged and that's amazing and we're learning so much. And um, what has been kind of your favorite part of the whole overall experience? I mean the overall experience is obviously the people you know it's like having fun you know talking to the guys and because like everybody here loves poker, you know, so we are all similar in a way because something drove us to poker, right? There is yeah. something, you know, and we just get along very well for that reason. Uh, and obviously I'm here to study, you know, but like the, the fact that everybody is so cool is also just like added value basically, right? Excellent. The overall experience is just, um, it's amazing. It's like you're in this beautiful location, you can see the ocean out in the, dist in the distance and uh, you know you meet like-minded people and friends from all over the world it is i can't really put it in words it's amazing i mean when i first looked at the schedule and i saw that it was going to be a certain number of hours of coaching i i thought we wouldn't get this much out of those many hours but actually we're getting a lot per hour i mean that the amount of information we're getting on an hourly basis is incredible and i think we're going to be able to go back later and look at it in slower time and learn a lot more from it what do you think in this spot we have a6 suited and he's open raising. And I'm asking every one of you, what would you do in this spot? Would you be three betting? Would you be calling and playing in position? Or would you be folding? I think I'm folding. Folding? I think it's just three bet. Three bet? Mix up like three bet. Three bet? Three bet. <laughs> three bet? I'm calling. Calling? Three bet for the eggs at least all the three time. Bet. Three, three bet is the only option. Three bet? Three bet. Three bet. Three bet. Three bet. Three bet. 
All right. I fold in this situation for one particular reason. I don't believe these are good spots to attack very wide. First of all, he has a lot of chips as well. So big home game. Big home game. Coming up. So uh, how are you like your chances? Yeah, we're gonna do a random table draw with yeah. everyone. First place is two hours of individual coaching with Ben. Uh, second place is one hour of coaching with Ben. Third place will be an official Razor Edge hoodie. Right. If you have a Razor Edge hoodie, then we are going to give you a second Razor Edge hoodie. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good sign. Isn't it? Eight. Number nine. Yeah. 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 He's the dinosaur. Raise your edge. Let's crush. I got <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Neil. I have a place in the world. We have a race. <laughs> You're responsible for them. Is it legal? <laughs> 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 Second, what do you got so, to say? Well, at least who was the first one out? Right beside you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa! I'm not kidding. Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh!